This video will discuss supermassive black holes in galaxies and uh, briefly describe some of the evidence that leads astronomers to conclude that most big galaxies have uh, supermassive black holes at their centers. So if we uh, talk about the Milky Way galaxy, we're just on, we have a low mass supermassive black hole. But there is indication of motion of stars near the nucleus of our galaxy that uh, indicates there is a large black hole at the center of our galaxy. The orbits of these stars can be studied using infrared, um, essentially, or a little bit longer than infrared um, techniques. Those wavelengths penetrate through the gas and dust between the sun and the interior of our galaxy and give us uh, the ability to track stars moving around in their their orbits. So this is just a little clip from a, uh, uh, a video that I'm going to show you the full animation in just a little bit. But move these are not the star images, but they show the position of the stars. And I'd encourage you on your own to go to www.astro.ucla.edu and uh, the other letters and symbols associated with that or you can do a google search site colon astro.ucla.edu space s2 s2 is the famous uh, star that's moving near there but the motion of the stars here the period of the orbit and the size of the orbit indicates at the center of the milky way galaxy there's a black hole that has a, a mass equal to four million suns 4 times 10 to the 6, 4 million solar masses. So these stars have been tracked for quite a few years, and let's watch a video. So this video is going to cover from about 1995 to 2018. The star is where the black hole is located, and this is just a two-dimensional view. Some of these stars you know, have a three-dimensional motion that's important. Uh, but you can see them zipping past, especially this yellow orbit, moving past. So we're at the 2018 uh, time frame there. A pretty amazing video detecting individual stars moving around the black hole at the center of our galaxy. And again, the size of the orbit and the uh, uh, speeds that are measured help astronomers estimate that the black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is about four million times the mass of the sun. So let's go a little further and investigate some other galaxies. So here is uh, the Markarian 817 active galaxy, 430 million light years away, estimated to have a 40 million solar mass black hole and uh, indication of motion of gas away from the core of this galaxy. So the photo of the galaxy and uh, it's thought that there's about a 40 million uh, mass, solar mass black hole at the uh, center of this galaxy. Um, but the spectrum here and the absorption lines uh, can be used to indicate the speed of the, uh, the gas coming out of the hydrogen, hydrogen gas cloud coming out from the core and showing very large speeds um, and large amounts of material. Uh, NGC 1600. 209 million light years away. It's a larger galaxy than the Milky Way galaxy. And looking at the center of this uh, galaxy and looking at the spread of the velocities of the stars indicates that the there's a source of gravity uh, that's stronger than usual at the center of this galaxy and estimated to be 1.7 billion solar masses of material in that black hole. Um, we're not seeing the motions of individual stars like we did for the Milky Way galaxy here, but the uh, spread of the velocities fast away from us and fast towards us in this small space uh, indicates to astronomers that there's a supermassive black hole at the center there. Some other galaxies, their NGC numbers are listed over here. Uh, so 1 times 10 to the 8, that would be 100 million solar mass black hole. Uh, 50 million here and 500 million solar mass black hole and again uh, seeing fast motion of 
stellar material away from us and towards us gives an indication of the uh, uh, mass of the black hole that's at the middle there. Uh, NGC 7052, and this is a detailed view of the center. Uh, this dust disk 3,700 light years across. Perhaps that came from a collision with a galaxy that was richer in gas and dust than an elliptical galaxy. Um, NGC 4261, and seeing jets of material coming to what you might call out of the north and south pole of the uh, black hole and a disk of material around the black hole, about 400 light years across. Um, and again, information here in the spread of the velocities of the material that's closer into the black hole, telling us that there's uh, most likely a high gravity object here, and we don't see light from uh, this location that would be coming from you know, 100 million uh, stars or something, solar mass stars. Um, we see jets, that's associated with black holes. So other indication there's a black hole in this galaxy that's super massive. Um, M87, again, a detailed view of the center and the jet of material coming out from the center. Uh, estimated to have a 3 billion solar mass black hole and uh, electrons coming out at high speed. It's, interaction of the magnetic field and the charged particles that can eject these electrons at high speed. Uh, a whole set of uh, you know, four different uh, galaxies here that their measurement, measurements of, the, again, the velocity spread of material near the center indicates the black hole that's, uh, that's present there. And astronomers have enough, have collected enough uh, uh, data to uh, conclude that there seems to be a relationship between the mass of the black hole and the mass of the whole elliptical galaxy or the bulge of a spiral galaxy. Here is uh, NGC 3862 also in the uh, Quasar catalog 3C 264 260 million light years away. Over on the right X is the position of the black hole and it's not real clear in this photo. You might be better off going to the original Hubble image here, hubblesite.org slash image slash 3561, hubblesite.org slash image slash 3561. Uh, but uh, 1994 up to 2014, and you can detect the motion of the material here coming out at nearly the speed of light and colliding with uh, material that came out earlier. Uh, very active uh, central region for this galaxy and the energy is thought to be supplied by uh, matter falling into a black hole. Uh, it's very efficient to give up energy when uh, that gravitational energy is released as material moves towards the black hole. Another elliptical galaxy with a possible black hole, Cygnus A, strong radio source. It's been known for a long time, 10 million light years away. And again, dust in this elliptical galaxy is unusual, so it uh, could have been a collision event that kind of resupplied this uh, galaxy with dust. Then the Cygnus A, in more detail, uh, it's thought to have about a one billion solar mass black hole. Um, seeing material near the black hole of about 130 light years in diameter. Uh, again, that distance would be, the, it would take light 130 years to cover that distance. Um, and here's a, uh, uh, a chart indicating that the mass of the black hole has a correlation to the mass of the bulge of a galaxy and the different galaxy types here in the box. Um, so you could read this. I found this by going to Google Scholar, uh, scholar.google.com, uh, I believe. Google Scholar. Do a Google search for the term Google Scholar. And then you can search for scientific papers uh, for various subjects. So they have come up with a correlation between uh, uh, facts about the galaxy, characteristics of the galaxy, and how large the, the uh, supermassive black hole. A little bit controversial on whether the uh, black hole mass at the center controls the development of the galaxy, or uh, if there's more galaxy 
to be consumed by the black holes that make the black hole larger. Um, but there is work being done trying to understand the interaction of the black hole at the center of a galaxy and the future development of a galaxy. So how are the supermassive black holes detected? If we can measure the speeds of individual stars and their orbit size, then we get very definite proof that there's a very large gravity source at the middle and can work out the mass of that supermassive black hole. Otherwise, um, astronomers can detect light from the central region of a black hole and measure the spread in the overall speed of stars on one side of the black hole versus the other and measure the spread in velocity that's an indicator of the uh, mass of the supermassive black hole. Seeing jets of material, that's an indication there's a black hole in the galaxy. And uh, the energy output near the centers of galaxies being very large, uh, too large to be accounted for by the fusion of hydrogen to helium or helium to anything else. Um, only viable explanation known at this time would be matter falling towards a black hole. Some other articles that I found useful for summarizing this material, a uh, Wikipedia article um, and another a uh, monthly notice of the Royal Astronomical Society article that uh, you may want to jot these down if you like to uh, research this a little bit stronger. So I hope you enjoyed the video about how supermassive black holes are detected and uh, some of a link, possible link, between the characteristics of a galaxy and the characteristics of the supermassive black hole. If you'd like other uh, videos uh, to explore some, there's a uh, two websites you could encounter. Both of these websites, the uh, videos are listed, uh, how long they are, description of the content, and there's a link, direct link to the YouTube video that you could play. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.